everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hi everybody. Welcome to my year seven, 2017. Um, I have my, my year art inspiration journal here and I was just going to do a little bit of work on it. And I'm going to show you where I'm at so far and how I'm taking this journey throughout this year. Um, again, as you all know, Gina Aarons made this lovely cover for me. Uh, here's my journal, 2017. This is just pockets full of stuffs. Uh, we did this on video. Um, this was my step ahead, you know, my step forward. And basically I've got on here goals that I want to complete this year. I want to increase my followers on social media. I want to learn. That's very important. I love to learn more. Um, I want to inspire others. I want to complete projects. I want to um, help other people through chronic pain. I think that's a big one. I want to grow as an artist, a design team, which I am so happy to be on. And I've got to grab that phone. And I want 2,000 subscribers on my YouTube, so I will be right back. Sorry for that interruption. I apologize. All right. Um, so anyways, we were talking about these are my goals. And uh, this is a a Create365 um, stickers that I bought <coughs> Pardon me, last year. Um, I got it on sale or something. I'm not sure why. What? Whatever. Anyways, I got it last year, and I just like these little stickers in here. And I just saw this one that says love it, and I'm going to put it right here. Because I do. I love what I'm doing. I really enjoy playing in art. Um, anything else. I, I just, I enjoy it. So anyways, here's some things that I want to do. My social media tracker, my video ideas. This is stuff that's going to be put into here. Video tracking ideas, classes, projects, monthly challenge ideas, that kind of stuff. Um, we're going to go into January, uh, just so I can show you real quick here in the back. In the back is where I have all of my um, I, I can't go through them because they've got prompts and everything, but this is where I have all of the different group things that I'm doing, whether it be My Giant Life with Ann Williamson or Explorations of Me or um, my design team, or not my design team, Gina's design team challenges, that kind of stuff. Same with Canvas Corp Brand. So that's what the back of the book is being utilized for. So back up to the front. I actually had my business cards made up. I, I call them business cards. Um, I don't have a business, but I, this is my social media card, I should say. Um, and these are just things that I'm going to do in two, January 2017. Now, what I did, this is just a little pocket, and this is a bookmark, a book, a little book, library book thing. And the reason I'm covering it up is because you're going to have a book review a little bit later on this week. And I don't want to give you the surprise now. Um, so this is from the library and it's going to have all the books, art books, and things that I review on it throughout the year. Now this is what I've done so far. This was the very first week and what I've done, my year 2017 is going to be um, toward my art. This is this is all art related. So basically what I did is I, I broke up my days. I got the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh is right here. Um, and anything that happens during that day or any type of inspiration or something I've done for my art is going on this page. I have no idea why I stuck this Chiquita banana sticker here. Eh, because I wanted to. Um, but just to give you an idea, I'm not going to run through all this every time we have a video, but I'm just going to give you an idea what I've done. Um, making thumbnails, uploading videos, scheduling videos, that sort of thing on the first. On the second, I went shopping with my hubs and we were driving along and I just saw this beautiful, beautiful sky. So I took a picture of it on my cell phone, brought it home, printed it out, and I put it in here. On the third, it was Tuesday, I spent the day making Harry Potter wine, wands. This is my son with a hot glue gun and his girlfriend, Trisha. We were making them for her sister's baby shower. So that was my inspiration that day. This is what I did on that day. Um, on the fourth, I received this inspiration photo from my mom, which I think is so cute. I got to show it to you. Oops, let me just bring you in. Hold on. Look at this little dragon. Isn't he cute? I fell in love with him. I was like, oh my god, he's so adorable. So again, I um, 
just took a screenshot with my cell phone and I printed out that picture. Um, Thursday, <coughs> worked on my website, video editing, and on Marge's, large Marge's cover, which that'll be coming soon. Um, read and relax day, just do your thing. I just kind of chilled out on Friday because I knew on Saturday I was going to play. And what I was going to play is with my granddaughters. So Friday I had a chill out day. Saturday I got to play. This um, is just a little piece of um, notepad that I stuck two of them together and, and washi taped them in here. My goal this week is to get video commitments done for January and to start February's videos. So that's what my goal was for this week. It didn't happen. But you know what? I have this week. Um, I did my stats. These are my social media stats. I did them on January 1st. Okay, so I have those numbers. Oh, no! My play came off. Let's stick it back down. You know why? I used Elmer's glue instead of tacky glue. Uh, this, this guy is actually a little tag, and I have two more that go with this set, and I will show them to you um, later on this week. You're going to get a video uh, showing you how to make these. So here's two more tags that we're going to be using in here. This one's got confetti on it, and they, of course they both have bubbles and bling. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So this week, <coughs> today is Monday, the 9th. And I know I'm showing you this ahead of time, but it's okay. I'm recording it ahead of time. Um, what I'm going to do this week is pretty much the same idea of this week. What, what am I doing inspirationally? Uh, what's happening? What's going on? What I've accomplished? Things I need to work on, that sort of thing. Yesterday, uh, I haven't filled it in yet, but let's see. Yesterday was, um, what did I do inspirationally yesterday? Let me grab a pen. Yesterday, I updated my website. And if you're interested, it's www.cindyutter.com. And I also started my newsletter. And I also was crocheting on my king size afghan I'm working on and I did that while watching my football so that was what I did artistically anything to do with art yesterday um, these are all going to be filled in as the days go on <coughs> again I have these little stickers here that every now and then uh, I will grab one out of and just say oh that's cool so these will be added in slowly Do, 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 do. I'm just going to put this love on here. Love. I'm just going to stick that right there. Something just a little bit. So this goes in the front of this. All right. So now what I'm going to do today with you guys, that's just kind of an overview of how I'm going to do my weeks. Now, this is supposed to be week three and week four in... Um, the month of January. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a spread on this and I'm going to do the weeks, but we're going to do it a little bit different. So let me grab some supplies and we'll show you how we're going to get this started. I'll be right back. All right, so I've got a stencil here. This is actually, um, it's by Westcott and it's just circles, large and small circles. It says it's a T831, so if it's something you're interested in purchasing. And I think I got this at my local art store, um, so this is what I'm going to use. Now the first thing I'm going to do is this is going to be my spread for these last two weeks of January, but it's also going to be my take on confetti bubbles and bling. or conf Yeah, confetti bubbles and bling. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to really quick sketch a bathtub. You know where I'm going with this, don't ya? Let's just sketch out a bathtub here. Make it a little bit darker. I just did kind of a, a sloppy sketch here. Nothing crazy. I don't want it, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. I've got a girl started here. Just her nose, her lips. Here she is hanging out in the tub, okay? And this is all, we're, it's going to be a lot better once we get it, you know, bigger. 
And then from there, I just want small, oops. See that? Even with a stencil, I can't draw a circle. <laughs> Come on, girl. All right, I just want a random amount of small bubbles and circles. Now the bigger ones are going to be the days. So we're going to put a big one right here. Let's make one here. Four. Oops. See, it keeps shifting on me. That's my fault. It's because I'm not holding it. Four. We're gonna make five. Stop. Wow. It's, it's it's a rough morning. It's a Monday morning, and <coughs> it's a rough one. And yes, I am still <coughs> still coughing from that darn uh, pneumonia. It has not been nice to me. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. I need fourteen of these babies. Seven. Uh, let's put a big one right here. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oops. It's actually going through the paper. Ten. in between all these little all these big ones I want to put a bunch of little ones so you get the idea what I'm doing this is my bubbles I got my bubbles and then we're going to um, whoops, that's not a bubble then we're gonna work on coloring these in and getting some making this page pop okay let's do a few more little ones Little one, little one, little one. All right, so you get the idea, right? But I have to put more little ones in between. I don't want it without them. All right. I'm liking it. Now we need to get some paint out and let's get these painted up and let's have fun. So let me grab my paints and I'll be right back. All right, so I decided instead of getting out paints and all that, I was gonna use my Sharpies. Now this is just, this is a Kipling uh, pen bag that I got oh, eons ago. <coughs> and it has all my Sharpies in it. It has my fine line Sharpies and then it has my bigger Sharpies down here. And apparently a Uniball signal. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna start out. I want a blue bathtub. We're gonna make a blue bathtub. Now, if you notice, I'm not doing this perfectly. That's not what this is about. This is about just having fun, playing around in your your journal. Your whether it's an inspiration journal. Those feet look funny, but that's okay. Um, or it doesn't matter what kind of journal it is. Just play around. Have fun with it. This is just... I'm just a playin'. Peach. We'll use like a peach for her face. Kind of... 
Peach didn't like the um, pencil. That's okay. It's all good. I don't know why I've got some freaking, I'm sorry, excuse me, some songs in my head that I can't get rid of. Okay, here she is hanging out in the tub. I want to grab a... kind of give her some features here just a little bit I'm not worried about you know I'm not gonna have a perfect lady sitting here in this tub that's not what this is all about so she's there she's hanging um, I do want to take and erase this pencil now that I've got the outline of it done I may have to doodle the tub Now these bubbles, some of the little ones, we're just going to play, right? So like I said, my journal is all about inspiration and about um, play and about what I'm doing in my art world. Now the reason I'm not doing a document of my life per se um, is because I actually journal in a personal journal um, where that kind of stuff goes, whether it's receipts from a movie theater or that sort of thing and I actually journal which I write and I write quite a bit so um, that's where all the personal stuff is to me that's I, I feel that that's personal stuff I'm not saying that it's not that it's okay to share that it's not okay to share that's fine I just choose to do it in my personal journal so um, that's why I wanted to make this into my inspiration journal. I wanted this to be separate from that, and I wanted to um, just make this about my art. So if that makes sense, um, you know, I hope it gives you an idea of why I'm not doing it um, the other way. Now I just did, what I did on these is I just did a little bit of the blue and then I stuck a little bit of white on it, which is, you know, just makes it look more like a bubble. There's one over here I did, but I missed the bubble right here. So I'm just making it a little bit. Uh, let's see, what color are we going to do these big ones? I'm trying to kind of stay within this background color theme if I can let's try pink let's see what pink does so anyways that's why I'm doing my journal this way Actually, I will grab my personal journal and show you what I'm talking about in just a minute. But we really hope, you know, um, all of us that are doing this my year 2017, we really hope that you, you do your own style. Um, you don't have to copy after us. Um, we're, yeah, we'll, we'll be glad to give you ideas and there's no problem if you do want to copy after us. But we're also telling you to, you know, do your own style. Do something that's that means a lot to you. Something that you enjoy. You know, if you want to use a composition notebook and do an art journal, I have no problem with that whatsoever. I think it's great. But we also want you guys to do what's in your heart and what 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 will mean the most to you and documenting I hate to say the word documenting but keeping track of um, your life in whichever way 
you find uh, beneficial to you. It's it. It's kind of hard to explain what I'm trying to say, but I think I'm doing a pretty good job at it. At least I'm trying to. I don't know why I'm doing the bottom of the bubbles, just because I can, I guess. I don't know why I decided to put that in the middle of the page. That's okay. It's all good. Oh my gosh, I went to bed last night. And you know how you get those, they call them the earworms? The song is still with me, the song Hallelujah, and I just can't seem to get it out of my head, and I don't know why. But that's okay. I guess it's okay. <sighs> can't hear. My Buster Brown decided I needed passion this morning. What happens with him is I feed, I have two cats, Buster and Abby, and I feed them in the morning. Well, Buster doesn't, he always sticks his nose up at the food. So then, you know, an hour later he comes to me, he's hungry. And it doesn't matter, I go out and put his food down, he still sticks his nose up at it. Some days he'll eat it, so I don't know, I give up. There's dry food down, if he's real hungry he can eat some of that. So, so far this year, I say this year because there's only been nine days into this year, um, I'm very happy with where I'm going artistically. Um, there's been some surprise things coming up, which um, you guys will know about soon. Uh, but there's been some surprises coming up, and I'm really excited, super, super excited. I want to shout to the mountains, but I can't. Thought I heard Buster chewing on something. He likes to chew on wires. He's a brat. Hence his name, Buster. He's a black kitty cat with just a little white patch on his chest. And uh, when we got him, my husband wanted to call him Voodoo. I said, no, his name is Buster, because he kept going around busting things. <laughs> oh, brats. But usually they're pretty good kitties. So anyways, like I was saying, I have a surprise coming up. I'm so excited. A secret. It's a secret. Right now it's a secret. <laughs> um, soon. Soon you guys will know. And I'm just beyond thrilled. So, um, well, Like I was saying, so far 2017 is looking really well. Now, you guys know I live with a chronic pain issue. Um... Just to give you an idea, like this morning, um, I spent the weekend on Saturday, I had, I spent some time with both my granddaughters. Well, you know, when my granddaughter comes running to me with her arms in the air, I'm going to pick her up. That's just the way it happens. So, of course, <coughs> pardon me, my back does not like that. It's very unhappy when I do that. So I've spent yesterday pretty much flat all day, um, you know, in the recliner just chilling and trying to get the pain under control. Now today, when I got up this morning, I do like this little self-assessment. Well, guess what? Pain's still here. So, <laughs> which it is every day, but um, it's, it's intense. It's more than it normally is. And I thought, you know, maybe I just need to chill again for another day. And then I thought to myself, no. I am not going to let this chronic pain, whether it's intensified or not, ruin my day. So we take a painkiller and we just muddle through it. Um, it is what it is, but it's not going to ruin my day. So, ha! So that's where I'm at on the chronic pain. Um, I do want to try to keep you guys um, kind of—I don't want to say updated, but I want to—I want to bring you more about the chronic pain and how you deal with it. Now, um, I gotta put some bubbles down in this tub. I—I've uh, read a book recently 
that really, really, really spoke to me as far as the chronic pain. And I'm, I'm actually rereading the book a second time. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to do a book review for you guys and tell you what it did for me and what I think... Um, what I think about it. And I'll be very honest with you, the name of the book... Um, I want to see if this is going through. Nope. See, these are two pages. I, I glued two pages together. And see, normally Sharpies go through everything. They're not going through this, so that's really cool. I'm going to paint this whole tub blue, just because I started now and I can't stop. So, um, But anyways, this book that I'm rereading again, I'm going to share it with you guys because... The, the name of the book is basically, um, you know, it specifies back pain. But I'll be honest with you. If you read the book with an open mind, this is not just about back pain. It's about chronic pain. And it's huge, huge, huge in helping figure out how to deal with the chronic pain and how to live a life that is uh, productive and happy. And, you know, if you, if you, like I said, you have to read it with an open mind. And when you do, you're going to find out that it, it, it just, the impact that it has had on me. Where's my little black? All right, who stole my black little pen? I'll use this one. Um, the impact that it's had is just amazing to me. I really don't want to, I just want to make her just kind of hanging out here. I don't really care what she looks like. She's just hanging in the tub. She doesn't even look like a girl, but that's okay. I don't care. Now, I do need, um, so anyways, I am going to do this book. I'm going to do like a little review on it, and I really hope that you will take a chance to read the book and, um, listen to what the author has to say and like I said I have found that it's made a huge huge impact on how I think about chronic pain and how um, I let the chronic pain either either let it or do not let it affect me so I really hope that you um, read it here is my I hope that you read it and I hope it helps you as much as it's helped me. Because what it has done for me is amazing. Has it taken away my chronic pain? Absolutely not. Has it helped me deal with my chronic pain? Absolutely. It has given me a different way to look at the pain. So. Do, 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 do. Big white feet. <laughs> just having fun now. Now I'm just playing. <laughs> um. <clears throat> I just wait. I was going to make it a white clawfoot tub, but it didn't make it that far, so we're just making it white on the inside. Do, do, do. All right. Where did my blue go? Wrong blue. So anyways, so I decided today, like I said, today I'm going to do the best I can, and that's just the way it's got to be. Do what I can, as much as I can, for as long as I can, and then, you know, I'm going to have to chill out. Well, that's okay. We can chill out. Not a problem. I like this blue. It's called Sky. Sharpie Sky TT, whatever that means. Like it, I like it. Now, 
I am just, I'm playing with this. Having fun. Isn't that what art's all about? All right. So here's all my days. These are going to be all my days this week and next week. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's my bubbles. All right, I want to get some bling. I'll be right back. Okay, um, due to the nature of this journal and the fact that I'm going to be writing in it, I don't want to put a whole lot of this dimensional stuff um, just because it's going to be hard to write on. So what I'm going to do for my bling is I'm going to use these glitters. Uh, this is from Martha Stewart. I don't think she does it anymore. Um, this is fluorescent pink and fluorescent blue. And then this is just called German Glitter from Viva. And uh, we're just going to have fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this German glue and just make some bling around the tub. And all this is is glitter and a glue. That's all it is. So if you have some Elmer's glue, throw some glitter in it and a boom, there you go. So just giving the tub a little bit of bling. Right? And I'm going to take this blue. Just put a little bit on the bubbles. Just a little here and there on the little bubbles. And I didn't forget, I went and got my personal journal too so I can show that to you. So, playing with the bling in the bubbles. I'm not putting a whole lot in these blue ones, just enough to give it a little bit of sparkle. And it plugged up. Just a little. Just a little bit. Bling, bling, bling. Alright, and I'm going to do the same to the pink bubbles with the pink. The fluorescent pink. All right. Okay, we're going to set this aside and let it dry. So here are my bubbles and my bling. <coughs> if any, you'll see on my tags. I'm going to set this aside for a minute. And I'm going to show you, this is my personal journal. Um, another Chiquita banana. Let's stick that on here. There we go. Uh, this is a Honey Bee's travel case. I think I got this on Amazon, I might want to say. Uh, and when I got it home, I thought, oh my gosh, that's perfect for my personal journal. So this is what I have in this little case. I have a whole bunch of stickers. I have, I don't know why I have two pairs of scissors. I don't really need one, but anyways. Um, these are my journaling pens that I use all the time. This is my journal this month. Uh, these are all just stickers that I may use. Here's some of my journaling cards. You've seen me make these. Again, I use these in my regular journal. Um, I've got a whole bunch of stickers in here. <laughs> Those are cute drafts. 
um, you name it, there's probably a sticker for it. I, I have this, I'm a sticker, sticker fanatic, apparently. Uh, I just, I love stickers. And then I got another pack. I know I'm going off subject here, but hey, I'm sharing. Um, this is from something called Pipsticks. P-I-P-S-T-I-C-K-S dot com. And what they do is once a month, I think it's $15, they send you this envelope full of stickers. Yay! So there's some really cool stickers in here. I'm going to try it out for a few months and see what I think of it. And uh, I'll let you guys know. But anyways, there's that. Um, this is my personal journal. This happens to be the one that I'm using right now. Um, I believe Gina picked this journal up for me. This is Dean. Uh, Dean is one of the characters on Supernatural. Uh, his name is actually Jensen Ackles. And his um, cohort is um, Jared Padalecki. So anyways, this is my, my personal journal. And this starts at November 30th. And... Okay. Just to give you an idea, these this is how I do my journals. I'm not going to um, go through everything because I do a lot of writing, as you can see. Um, I put in things that, okay, this is what I got for Christmas, some of the things I got for Christmas. Um, I love these graphic thin liners. They are fantastic. Um, I actually had bought a pack of five of them, and then I asked for the 20 for Christmas. Um, but again... Uh, this is just writing. This is my personal. There's movie tickets. Um, I always try to do a page with some type of um, washi or, uh, let's see, here's a there we go. candy wrapper or um, I'm always using stickers. So this is my personal journal. See how the pages are normally just kind of blue? See? Um, I don't allow them to stay that way. Whether it's washi tape or whatever, I just I always stick stuff in there. So this is where I do my documenting as far as my life goes. This is my personal journal. So that is why, um, and there's a bunch more stickers in here. And I also have a glue stick with me so I can stick stuff in. Um, so that is why I have chosen not to do a like a documented type lifestyle journal. So, just so you guys are aware. All right, back to this one. We are going to let this dry. And I'm going to find, I need something more to it. I don't, it's not quite there yet. So, let me look around and see what else I can find. I'll be right back. All right, don't move your, can don't move your video. It's me. I turned my book sideways. Um, I looked for a little bit more bling stuff, but I didn't really find what I was looking for. So, I got out my Stabilo. This might be what I'm looking for. I just need something more to make it different. There we go. Oh, it's a... No, see, I don't... Do, 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 do. Let's bring you down. Let's bring all of you down. Now that I did it to one, I gotta do it to them all. A little bit different. Do, 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 do. So we're playing. So I hope you guys, you know, I hope you enjoy um, looking at this in a different perspective. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm doing it totally different because of the way I do my other journaling. So, and I, I'd really like to see where my art goes, um, throughout this next year. Because I just, I see this next year, um, becoming one of, of learning a lot and just growing. Growing as an artist, I just, I enjoy it. I have fun. I, I like to play. Um, you know, I find it challenging to take, uh, you know, a prompt and put my own, my own personal swing on it. Um, 
you know, same with supplies. I love to take a supply and say, okay, how can I use this a little bit different? So that's the things I enjoy doing. And, you know, I think it all fits right into where I want to go as an artist. So, um, most of all, I just want people to have fun. That's what art is. If you're not having fun, then you need to really rethink about what you're doing because art is not meant to be stressful. It's not supposed to be stressful. That's not what, what creating, especially when you're doing art journals and mixed media. It's about just having fun with the process and having fun with the products. I mean, if, you know, you're using Diane Reevely stamps, for example, and you're getting really stressed out, she, that's not what she intended those stamps to do to frustrate you. She intended for them to, you know, let you have fun and do something different in your process. So that's the way I look at art. And when I look at it that way, I, I just find that I have a lot more fun. So if I was going to sit here and try to do everything perfect, I would be pulling my hair out. And I'm not doing that. So it's either have fun or go home. Gonna make our girl sparkle her boy she, her face just looks really funky but again I don't really care you know it's in a composition notebook who's ever gonna see it other than the world <laughs> and why bother <laughs> doesn't matter so anyways this is my take on confetti bubbles and bling you're gonna see more of the confetti coming up in the next week this week I'm gonna work some more on this and see where I end up going as far as in my art and we're going to have some more videos coming on up this week. We've got um, a video for tags. I'm going to have a book review. And I'm not sure quite what else I'm going to throw in there. But I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!